The readings for the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time are really so much about preparing us for the struggle ahead. And beginning with the Book of Wisdom, we hear that the Israelites were told ahead of time what was going to happen in the Passover so that they might enter into it with courage. They might not fear that their firstborn sons would die as the Egyptians would, uh, but that the Lord would deliver them from the plight that they had suffered. It wasn't going to be an easy experience, but the Lord was promising them uh, to return to the land that was given to Abraham so they could enter in with courage. You know, in our experience of the Christian life, it is the same way. We try to ignore, you know, practically or intentionally the words of Jesus, but he's given us, you know, an explanation of what is to come in our own lives uh, that we might have courage as we enter into our own struggles, that we might have courage at the end of our lives as we approach death and pass over death with the Lord to come to eternal life. He's told us ahead of time that these things must take place. And even St. Paul, you know, says, uh, you know, in, in a variety of ways, and, and we'll hear next, next week in the, the letter to the Hebrews, that Jesus himself, uh, you know, for the sake of the joy that lay before him, he took up his cross. So he knows what's coming after, therefore he has courage to enter into uh, his passion and death before the resurrection. That said St. Paul, you know, St. Paul says that we must endure suffering in order to, you know, come to the peace and joy of, uh, you know, true union with Christ. So, you know, we have these warnings, if you will, we have these explanations, and, uh, and yet our hearts shy away from that. We turn away from, uh, you know, we want to ignore the fact that God himself says, look, it's going to be hard. There's going to be a struggle. You know, in fact, you're going to have to die in order to get to eternal life. But there's something about it that's so unnatural, if you will, that, uh, that we recoil. We don't want it. But Jesus gives us the knowledge ahead of time that we might take courage, that we might enter into that union with him now, that as we suffer along the way, we might understand and take courage and pass through that suffering to come to the resurrection on the other side of the trials in our life and fully and completely on the other side of death at the end of our lives. Take courage. For the sake of the joy that lay before us, let's take up our cross and follow the Lord.